welcome back for another exciting Final Cut GoPro tutorial. I'm Abe Kislevitz, and we're going to be talking about color correcting within Final Cut. If you haven't already done so, check out our first tutorial, which is basically an entire walkthrough from GoPro camera to posting online, and that'll give you pretty much all the information that you need just to get going and get the basics down in Final Cut. So with this next tutorial, coloring in Final Cut, just a disclaimer, um, there is no correct answer in coloring. It's a very subjective matter, but hopefully these tool sets will be of use to you guys um, just to make your stuff look that much better. It already looks great out of the camera, but there's a few tips and tricks that can be done to always make your stuff look pretty magical. Just a, a quick note, if you haven't already done so, download the latest firmware for your GoPro camera available at gopro.com support. As of last August, GoPro released a firmware upgrade for the cameras that uh, the image quality was just a little bit different, the colors are more saturated, and it's a better representation of uh, what is in reality and what you're filming. All right, so let's jump right into our edit. We're at the point where we've completely finished our edit. Uh, all of your cuts are done, and you are almost ready to export. One final step is to do your color correction. So first, we have Phil Casabon killing it, X Games 2011. Uh, nice shot of him. Um, got some overexposed areas, uh, easy to fix. Next, we've got Bobby Brown doing a nice little trick due to her Vermont. Looking good. Thanks, Bobby. And Sammy Carlson, also a nice little poke there. And finally, me jumping off a cliff in the snow. So we've got these different clips. Um, I'm just showing you some variation because we're going to do some color correction and what we really want to do first is an initial pass just evening out all the levels. We don't want to do anything fancy. We just want to get everything sort of tuned inside of our safe zones, as we call them, and uh, just fixing up some stuff. Uh, the tool that we are going to use is the three color corrector. So I'm going to double click on this first clip, pop it up in here, go up to effects, video filters, color correction, color corrector, three way. All right, so I can click on the filters tab and go to the visual representation of the color corrector three-way. Otherwise, there's a tab up there um, that takes me right to there. And uh, what we're going to use in conjunction with this tool is called a video scope. So we're going to go up to tools, video scopes. Now, it looks a little crazy, but the one we really want to focus on is called the waveform monitor. And where it says layout, uh, all hover over that and go to waveform now there's this little graph thing click that up in the corner and drag that all the way up that's gonna bring our brightness of the graph up just so we can see what's going on so this waveform monitor is just a visual representation of the levels in our clip we have the white line here so this is absolute white and the black line here absolute black we really want to make sure we're getting our image inside of the white and black lines. And we can do that with the color corrector three-way. As we scroll through the clip, you can see that the levels are constantly changing. So we really want to focus on the entire clip as a whole and not an individual area. What we're going to do here is in the color corrector three-way, we have our black scale, our mids, and our whites. So we're going to use those three in conjunction to get our image looking better. First of all, we want to look at our black line. And we want to adjust our blacks first because that's not going to be affected by the whites or the mids. So let's scroll over to where we see our lowest point in the clip. Um, I could pop this down a little bit, but I think our blacks are right on the money. Now we want to go to our whites. and. Um, where we're getting this overexposed area is where we're, we have all of this stuff above the white area. So we want to take our whites and just bring it down so it's inside of this white line. And you can see already that we're getting back a lot of detail that we didn't even know we had in the image. And this white line, you can actually go above it, but just keep in mind that it's technically out of broadcast TV safe, which means you wouldn't be able to put it on TV. Um, but uh, it's just a general good practice to keep it inside of the white and the black, and it'll give you a much better looking image overall. So we've done our whites and our blacks, and uh, it's just going to be a combination of looking at the image and using your waveform monitor uh, to get the colors right. 
So I'm going to look at the mids, um, maybe pop them down just a hair, scroll through the image. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Now what I want to do, since I've got these different shots, different lights, is I'm going to use these color wheels to get the colors all sort of in a general uh, harmonious range here. So we've got a nice sunlight here, Aspen, Colorado, but I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this little dial here and bring the whites over to the blue just a hair. Very subtle color change is key here. You can hold command on the Mac and it'll go a lot faster, but I recommend just nudging it just a hair over. Uh, we can take our mids and move those over just a bit as well into the blue cyan range. Um, and now we've got a pretty color neutral image here. If I turn this on and off, you can see what we've done. We've gained a lot of uh, detail in the snow and it's looking a little better. So like I said, we're just getting all of our stuff evened out. We're gonna do some crazy color correction in a little bit, but bear with me. Let's move on to our next shot. Uh, this shot, really sick trick, but the lens is a little foggy. It was the old firmware of the GoPro, so it's not quite as dynamic. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get our three color correctors. So we can either uh, Command C, copy the other one, and right click, paste attributes, uncheck scale attribute times, um, and just take filters. So now we've got a copy of what we just did there, which is really nice when you're dealing with a bunch of clips that were taken the same day or the same time. But for this one, I don't actually want that. I could reset all the values, but I'm just going to apply a new one. So I'm just going to go up to effects last three color corrector visual. All right. So first what we want to do, find out where the darkest darks are and that looks like right about there and keep in mind we can always keyframe this throughout but i find it a little too laborious to do that um, and just a general color pass over the entire clip usually does it fine let's bring our blacks down first and foremost and that looks about we could probably even bring that down to there because that's probably that flag right here and next we will bring our whites up just a hair we're hitting that line, that's good. And we'll scroll through the image, see what else we want. Maybe our mids up just a bit, give it a little more brightness. And now, if we turn this on and off, you'll see that we've essentially taken that fogginess almost out of the picture. So it's not a magic image solver, but it'll definitely improve your clips considerably from what they were. In terms of color in this clip, it seems pretty neutral already. I could add a little bit of red, yellow in the mids, just to even it with the clip from before. Uh, maybe a little bit of red in the highlights, or whites, I should say. Okay, so let's move on to Sammy Carlson box poke. Uh, the levels on this clip actually look pretty good. I'm going to double click Sammy Car box effects, color corrector, three way, visual. Uh, you can see we're not quite hitting our whites or our blacks. So I will just first pop the blacks down. Here we go. And remember to scroll through. We've got some whites there, so that's where the camera was peeking out, hitting the whites. Let's just bring that right up to the white level. Already we're looking pretty good. Pretty easy clip to do. Um, again, to even it out, we might add just a hair of yellow red in here. And that looks about right. So last but not least is a powdery day. Um, not much sunlight, but there's a lot we can do with this clip. It may not match the other clips quite as well. So it all depends on what you're doing in your edit, but we can fix this clip quite a bit. Color corrector three way. Uh, you can see our scopes. We are way under white. We're way under black. And we don't always have to peek at white, but generally it, it'll give you the best contrast in your image. So let's bring the blacks down. That looks pretty good. Let's bring our whites up. Bam. Maybe bring our mids down a little bit, get some more detail in the snow. Bring the whites back up to peak there. And we have this image, check on and off. Wow, good difference. All right, 
So for this, we could bring our mids maybe blue a little bit. Take our whites up to the yellow, add some faux sunlight. And our blacks, maybe blue. There we go. That's looking solid. So the next step, what I really like to do is get everything sort of on the same level, really evened out, nothing crazy. And I'm going to close my video scope. Um, and what I'm going to do is make a new sequence. I'm going to go to File, New Sequence, and call this sequence Edit Colored. I'm going to call my last sequence Edit. And I am just going to double click on Edit Colored and actually nest our edit inside of Edit Colored. And now I have a new sequence with just one clip inside it. And I'm going to apply a general second color correction to all of the clips across the board. So here's where we can get creative. We can get fancy with our stuff um, and have it a consistent fancy look to all of your clips across the board since they're all evened out and color neutral. So um, to get up here, if you double click, it's just going to open up your edit. So we're going to go back, right click, open in viewer, and we're going to go to effects color corrector three-way visual and so here is where we can get some creative stuff going I've been dropping the saturation by about almost 50 percent I kinda like the look I'm gonna drop the blacks into the blue area bring the mids into the yellow red a little bit pop the whites up to yellow red so now I've got this desaturated, magical, sort of sunny look. Looking pretty solid. That actually looks pretty cool. What I could even do is crush the blacks a little more. Maybe even bring up the mids. So here's where you can get creative and try a bunch of different color sets. Like we could go blue for the mids, red for the blacks blue for the highlights, um, maybe desaturate even more. Uh, so we can just try a whole bunch of stuff and it's super easy to just undo it all. Um, click these things to reset your color wheels. So one other thing I've been doing to my edits is adding a vignette and that's basically just, um, it's a product of like on the 5D you have a full frame sensor so you get some natural vignetting but uh, I find it's kind of fun to add to an edit just to spice it up a little bit. What I basically did is just made it in Photoshop. I have this file right here. It's already 1280 by 720. I'll have that available for download in the description. So if you guys want to use that, you can. I colored mine just a little bit blue. It's a transparent PNG. What I'll do is I'll make it super subtle. So I'll double click that, go to motion, and let's go down to opacity and make that about 30%. So we don't want it super apparent. It's super easy to get carried away with color correcting, like making things super blown out or super contrasty or adding a bunch of vignettes and stuff. I think subtlety is really key in color correction. So be subtle, be creative, have fun with it. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in. Once again, this was Color Correction Inside Final Cut with Abe Kislevitz. If you have any comments or questions, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash USC Ski, at USC Ski on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to us to keep up with all the latest updates. We've got awesome ski videos coming at you all the time. Um, definitely new tutorials. People were stoked. I'm stoked. Let's keep this going. Keep the creative juices flowing. Um, that rhymed. Wow. Okay. Uh, feel free to post all of your new videos on our Facebook or as a video response here on YouTube. It'd be awesome to share all your color corrected videos here on YouTube. Let everybody check them out. Thanks for tuning in this time and we will catch you next time.